<laughs> to get more, uh, this is a beautiful conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, my second question is, in one of your lectures you said, if people use religion as a starting point for growing with people of many faiths, religion and will bless and enhance the human experience. If people do not, it will continue to debase that experience. So you believe religion is a unifying force in societies? Do you think religious people should embrace unreligious people also? What is your way of reaching out to unreligious people? Yes, I, I, I believe that the term religion needs to be understood much more broadly than we understand it now. For example, many people <clears throat> who will identify themselves as secular or somewhat secular, they're involved in the same human search for meaning, which is a religious search, that those people who happen to join a church or a synagogue or a mosque belong to. So the, there's a reason why religion has characterized the human experience from the beginnings of time and even now in this very scientifically oriented <coughs> world. It's because religion is not just a series of rituals and texts and institutions. Religion defines the nature of the human search for meaning. That's what it's all about. And that's a different enterprise than the enterprise of science. Science asks how things work. The religious quest is, what does it mean? What is it all about? And each of our religious traditions has resources in texts, in ideas, in inspiring leadership, which can contribute to that search. We may never get ultimate final answers, but religious, if we look at religious traditions that way, as again, as I say, rather than exclu making exclusive claims to truth and virtue, if we look at it that way, that we are together all part of the human enterprise, then religion can function to help both heal and contribute to this human search and moves us on in the search for meaning. You know, I often say about, about um, myself as a Jew, I say to, to some of my more fundamentalist friends, I say, Judaism is not an alternative to being human. It's my way of being human. Yeah, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm, that I'm part of a human experience which goes way beyond Jews or Christians or Muslims or Hindus or Buddhists. It's the, the human dimension precedes all of them. Yeah, it's great. Mashallah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you're right. Uh, the, the religion is actually, uh, we, uh, this, we agree with you, Religion encompasses everything. Religion, there is a purpose of this life. Like everything has a purpose. For example, a pen, a pen has a purpose. A um, glass has a purpose. Everything has a purpose. And this life has a purpose. Yeah. And the purpose of this life is religion. It's not part of this life, but it uh, encompasses entire life. It is the purpose of life. It is a meaning of life. So you're right. I mean, without religion, everything becomes empty. And every, uh, everything is beautiful with religion and uh, God existence. We believe in the same God, we love the same prophets, so there is no reason for conflict. There, is a, uh, there, is, there are reasons, there are so much commonalities for unity and alliance to bring peace, but this will also embrace the unbelievers also and protect them also. Yes, yes. We believe. I, I like that. I, I, would, I would formulate it, um, kind of amending what you are saying, not that religion is the purpose of life, but religion in total, and all religions, give us a tool for exploring and reflecting on what life's ultimate purposes are. Mm -hmm. Our religious traditions all provide different formulations of what the ultimate answer, whether it's salvation, whether it's fulfillment on this earth, whether it's, I mean, there are all sorts of goals. There's bringing peace, there's bringing harmony, there's love. Uh, there are all sorts of goals. Religion can be a tool or an instrument both for exploring and bringing to reality uh, these kinds of goals. But religion in itself is not, I would not say that the religion is the goal or the objective. It's a nature, it's, it's a mode of human experience and human creativity which deals with these questions of ultimate purpose and provides tools and language and structure and discipline and community in which to work to accomplish these purposes. Yeah.
Yes. Yes, yes right.